Hello, good to have you with me again. Today I'm going to be talking about giving yourself space. I wonder if you find the same as me sometimes where you feel like you have to give an answer really quickly to what somebody's asked you or respond respond in a sort of rushed fashion if you kind of feel like you're backed up against a wall you've got to act you have to do something or say something way before you've even checked in with how you feel about that and what you want to do well this is something that has been a repeating pattern in my life and I I can identify when I follow that thread all the way back through time where it comes from. It comes from wanting to please and not upset the apple cart as a child, feeling like I I need to respond quickly in a certain way. People need their demanding an answer from me and I've got to give it right now. And, and so it comes from a much younger me, one who also would get in trouble some of the time. You know, I was a bit of a willful handful as a, as a young child. And knowing that it, it sort of comes from that too, this sort of feeling I have just, you know, I have, to, I have to do what people are asking me. I've got to keep everything all okay and I've got to respond now. So this has been coming up for me a bit in recent times. And sometimes I can beat myself up about that with a good old spiritual stick. Bang, bang, bang. I should know better and I should know better by now. I, you know, what am I, what am I doing? Am I really still going over and over and over this? And if you find yourself beating yourself up with that, spiritual stick, then you notice yourself just go, okay, it's all right, let go. We're just human, just human beings. And as humans, sometimes we cruise through these things, think events that come up in life beautifully and gracefully. And other times it's like, ah, and what do we do? We just start again, just fresh and start again and start again and start again. Most definitely, I will say that. So, so I recognize that in me, this, um, when it happens and I feel like somebody asks me, when somebody does ask me something and I feel like I have to respond right there, right then, come up with it without checking in with myself about it, about how I feel about it, what do I want to do about it? I was discussing it with my mentor and she was being so helpful actually and giving me some simple tips and tools which probably might seem very obvious to some of you but when you're caught up in a habitual pattern it can be really difficult to to voice these things or to even know that they are a possibility so for example she's saying to me in times when I feel I, that when I'm in that situation and I'm feeling up against it that I can slow everything down. Because at those times, everything inside of my body is like whirring around, like the little hamster on the wheel, feeling like gotta, 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 gotta say something, gotta do something, gotta act, 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 act gotta take action. I've got to be sort of, you know, in believing it's me being powerful and assertive when it's really not, it's me being far from it. But, and so, you know, needing to act, but to slow it down, that we can actually create space so feeling, okay, I'm feeling anxious. Maybe it's the anxiety, I think, too, that builds up. There's the speed that builds up inside. It's feeling really anxious and feeling unsure of what's going on. And like I've got to fire out a response really quickly. To take a moment to have a breath and to check in with myself. How do I feel? How am I feeling? And usually, as I think back on it, I'm feeling very anxious in those moments. So to stop and just take a few deep breaths, just take a few deep breaths and it's okay to have silence for a minute and to come up with some, you know, have like a little handful of, of suggestions for yourself where you can say, hey, I'm just going to go to the bathroom, give yourself five or 10 minutes to check in with how do you feel before you come back out again or to say, just need some fresh air or I'll think about that. I'm going to have a think about that and I'll get back to you tomorrow. And it can always be said with so much love and kindness but to create this space and to slow everything down, which gives you the time to really check in with yourself. Like, how do I feel? How do I feel about that? Is it something I want to do? Is it something that feels good? Or is it something that, no, I really don't want to do that. And I think in taking that time, it also 
helps me to tap into then that courage of speaking up and saying what it is that I am feeling. Not only do I have to stop to tap into, well, how am I feeling? It's then also to take another breath to say, it's okay and it's safe to say how, what, what, what I am feeling, how I do feel about this, what's okay with me, what's not okay with me. And again, if I speak from this heart centered place, all is good. If I'm speaking from the mind that's feeling attacked and under pressure, then that's not very helpful. It won't usually get us to a great place with the other person or with ourselves, in fact. Hmm. Yes. So when I'm responding really quickly, I can be very impulsive. I can make bad decisions and then regret those decisions quite soon after when I'm thinking, oh, I felt ambushed. I really felt ambushed there. I felt like I I couldn't see clearly, I couldn't tap into myself, I didn't see the bigger picture. But often just an hour or so later, I'm thinking, oh, man, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I'd done that differently. And then it's more awkward, I find, for me to have to go back to that person to explain that, and which I do when I need to with some people. So yes, and it happens in conversations, I notice too, talking about creating events with people and things that if somebody has uh, an idea of how they see that going and I have a different view on that, sometimes it's hard for me to just speak up. There's no reason why not to. Again, it, for me, I've realized it goes back to this much younger self who was scared of speaking up. So it's very helpful to know that, actually, that there is a younger me as I'm sure this happens with you, investigate, explore, find out who it is who's, who's speaking up inside of you because my younger self can exert an awful lot of control over my life without me realizing that's what's happening. So when I get a feel of it being this younger self who's, who's ruling everything, taking the lead and driving the behavior, to take a moment to come and connect with her, to be with her and ask her what does she need, how is she feeling and what's, what's going on and it's okay everything is okay, you're safe and I'm here with you and I'm looking after you. Sometimes that can actually be a very quick, easy process that they just want to know that they're safe and everything's all okay. And you can say, I'm, I've got it, it's okay, I'm looking after you, everything's fine. So that can be a really helpful way of doing it. So today's sharing with you is yes, giving you the tools of the younger self and how to deal with the younger self, but also Give yourself permission to slow things down. If this is something that happens to you, slowing things down, giving yourself some time, giving yourself some space. Silence is perfectly okay. We can feel very awkward when there's a protracted silence. Be comfortable in the silence, it's okay. Speak with love and with kindness and be truthful about what's there for you. Take a moment to check inside of you, how do you feel? And then come up with some standard phrases that you can use when you just need a bit more time. You're not ready to make your mind up. And sometimes it isn't just about knowing what's going on in your body. You do sometimes need to sit with something for a while. Give yourself permission to do that too when you need to. I hope this helps. I hope you find that beneficial. If like me, you, you can find yourself ambushed and needing to make a quick decision. Because the other interesting thing I'll say before I leave today, is that I discovered that, yes, some people do need an answer really quickly or they're expecting an answer very quickly or they, they want a response. And that I've really come to realize when I was honest with myself about it that most people in those instances would have been more than happy if I had said to them, well, I'm just going to think about that and I'll get back to you. So I was creating the pressure inside of me thinking I had to do it, I had to do it. And as I say, that was just the younger me at work. The, you know, the one who struggled as a youngster. So connect with your younger selves, love up your younger selves, and use, come up with some standard phrases that give you that space and that time to come inside of your body and use your awareness to check in with uh, how, how you are, what's the weather like inside, so to speak. I hope this video helps you. And please, if you enjoyed it, like the video and subscribe so that you also get to see all of my new videos when they are released and share it with some friends. It'd be wonderful to keep spreading the word. And I look forward to the next time that we're together. I'll see you soon. Bye.